Well, 13 News Now at Noon is back with a preview of another documentary made right here in our house by our very own Janet Roach and award-winning photographer Adrian Guerra. So the documentary called Roots Recovered, Reclaiming Our Names will air tonight on 13 News Now. And Janet joins us uh, this afternoon. She's on the set with us to tell us about what we can expect tonight. All right, Janet, what made you take on this project? Oh, well, you know, African-American history and just genealogy in, in general. I mean, that's something that's really big in my family. Family. Uh, every morning, my husband is up on the computer trying to do research on the Roach name. Now, a lot of people don't know that my maiden and my married name is Roach, yeah. so we have found out some interesting things about that. But, you know, genealogy resource, research is also a source of empathy. Mm -hmm. I think that when we can understand each other's stories, that it creates more unity it can, and more understanding of history. And I think the understanding is such a big part of this because a lot of people don't realize how challenging it is to find those names mm -hmm. of our ancestors. So can you talk about the difficulty behind just tracing back yeah, it is. Um, you've probably heard about the 1870 brick wall. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that 1870 is the first time on the federal census that African Americans were listed. Before that, during slavery, we're considered property. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors were listed right next to, like, the cattle or the sheep. And names were just scattered about. You didn't see, uh, find surnames. So when you try to connect those dots, it's extremely difficult to get to that 1870 point where, you know, you might know your grandmother, your great-grandmother, or maybe, maybe even your second great-grandparent, but it's hard to go beyond that point. But there are documents out there. There are a lot of documents. Many of them are online right now. So it's gotten a lot easier. Easier, but still difficult. And you kind of went through this process yourself. So Ooh. were there any surprises when you were going through this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were, now, first of all, I have to tell people I am not biologically related to my husband. Because, <laughs> yes, Disclaimer. We, we do have the same last name, but yeah. we found some interesting twists and turns. First of all, I may not be a roach after oh, all. Wow, so, um, really? Yeah, it was uh, something we found on the 1870 census um, when I discovered my second great grandfather. Okay. I thought he was a man by the name of Nelson Roach. It turned out he was uh, Lace Foy. Oh my goodness. And Lace Foy was enslaved in Rockingham County, North Carolina. So then trying to take that name and find out more about, well, who is he? You know, who is his mother? Who is his, who is his father? It's mm. very difficult, but I did make some discoveries. Harold did as well. So we share that. You're going to see that. Um, we also meet a young man by the name of Ronnie Sidney, mm -hmm. who is celebrating the legacy of his second great-grandfather who escaped slavery, fought for the Union in the Navy, um, as the son of his enslaver fought for the other side. So we're going to meet him. And uh, also the unlikely person who's kind of helping him celebrate that legacy. Oh, oh what a tease that mm -hmm. was. It's going to be an incredible documentary. Make sure you check this out tonight on 13 News Now. Roots Recovered, Reclaiming Our Names. That's going to be tonight at 8 o'clock. Yep, be there. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Janet has put so much work.